Mike Moore Media. It's a pleasure to visit with Mary Ryan, Rockingham County artist. She's on the line right now. You can check out her Facebook page. Uh, lots of good information there at A Life of Joy by Mary E.D. Ryan Art. Hey, Mary, how are you? Good morning. I'm doing good. I'm glad. Well, let's see what's going on in your world. Some things maybe we need to know about, Mary. Well, I uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and mm-hmm. happy. National Native American Heritage Day. That's so, exactly it, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a um, few things to report on. I'll give you an update first on the architecture murals on canvas series I'm working on. I'm working on the last few paintings now in the collection, and I'm doing the Native American mural design right now. Oh, wonderful. Exciting hoping to have it finished by next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Um, so the design is called Pow Wow, and it features Native American people in their full regalia dancing at a Pow Wow. So pretty detailed piece to work on. Um, I bet it's pretty I, colorful, too. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and I've met some wonderful people. So these are real North Carolina Native American people that are featured in the mural. Oh, great. And they are prominent people in the powwow community here. So um, the, that I'm working now on setting up exhibitions for 2023. Um, so the mark has agreed the, that they would have the space and be willing to do an exhibition. So it's likely to begin there in the spring. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good news. Move, yeah, and then move around to different sites around the county next mm-hmm. year. Okay. Um, so, uh, other thing that happened was um, you're aware that I uh, ran some grant programs with artist teams at the Reedsville Teen Center mm-hmm. over the past few years, particularly this year. And the Parks and Rec Department of Reedsville applied for a recognition award with the state Parks and Rec Department, and they received that award. So in November, the recognition award was given to the local teen center, to the Parks and Rec Department for um, the remarkable transformation. And they were particularly impressed with how the community was involved so deeply in the program and that um, it was very much a community participating project. So really excited for them. And they've got that plaque now that's hanging at the teen center. Community is what it's all about. Community and right. the, the unity is at the end of that word. That makes it all happen, yes. doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, really nice because this was funded by the North Carolina Arts Council in large part. And so they, you know, they, they're, I have to notify them to let them know this happened. So that they're uh, partly to be recognized for what was achieved at that location. Sure. Well, congratulations um, to everyone involved. Thank you. Um, I recently participated, I think it was November 12th, in a local um, event hosted at the um, National Guard Armory in Wentworth. And it was hosted by Roco is Home, an uh, Eden-based um, local not-for-profit organization that works with other businesses in the county. Mm -hmm. And so they had all local vendors at this fall market, and it was to benefit local veterans. It was highly successful. Um, Very busy event. Lots of people came from all over the county, and we raised over $1,500 for local veterans and a lot of canned food. Mm, That's wonderful. Yeah. It was a really great event, and um, I was very proud to be involved in that. Um, and, uh, you know, they're already planning a spring event. Mm-hmm. So, And I'm not sure if that one's going to benefit another organization or how, how that one's going to be structured, but it's already in the works. Well, it so. was. I'm so glad you were able to take part in that. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, I think I was told over maybe over 600 or so uh, went through and, and uh, participated in that. Mm-hmm. It was full. The first three hours, the, the, the armory was full of people. It, it was amazing. Um, I had a great experience. And there were several people like myself who've done a lot of markets before, and there were a lot of new businesses, which is 
really nice to see people forming new uh, businesses with their skills mm-hmm. um, during the county. Lots of woodworking. It's some pretty pretty interesting things. Every, yeah. Everything was there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, and thanks to everyone who uh, who took part in the uh, Roco Fall uh, Makers Market. Yeah, some good good comments. I, I'm hearing all about that all over the county. Yeah. So I wanted to talk a little bit with you and and talk to people about the importance of buying local this holiday season Mm -hmm. and supporting local downtowns. Um, And, you know, yeah, you can always get a few things online or, you know, go to some of the bigger locations. But if you want your downtowns to thrive, you have to support the local businesses. And there are people working really hard in businesses in downtown Eden, Reevesville, Madison, and even Stoneville has some little shops. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, and a lot of these shops feature local art artisans and craftspeople as well. And so this is a great way to get some simple, meaningful gifts and, and support the local economy. Um and there are, if like, if you look on the Facebook um, events calendar, you can see the events that are coming up, so that you know you you can mark it on your calendar and know the dates and the times and the locations because there's a lot still coming up. Yeah, um, there, there really is, and and we have a an expanded community calendar on um, on uh, Mike Moore Media as well. Uh, this is a busy getting into a really busy time. Uh, right. With December, and there's so many uh, special shops all around. As you, and I'm, I'm not telling you anything new, Mary. We we uh, certainly appreciate our our local uh, businesses and um, there to showcase so many talented vendors. And you know, uh, it just makes it so personal. I think when you can get um, a gift of pottery or or a painting or uh, some handmade jewelry or you know, something uh, woodcraft. You know that that has a story behind it. We we you know get to know the people, perhaps. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, so my next event that I'm doing is the Penthouse Market, which is not to, not tomorrow Saturday, but a week. It's December third, and that one's been going on for quite a while. Um, I think there's something in Eden also that weekend but i can't remember the name of it oh, but like oh, you said you've got the calendar which yeah, makes it yeah. really easy i'm going to i'm going to grab my stack of things here and see what's going <laughs> on but yeah you're you're right the one at the penthouse i think uh i think judy has at least 40 uh involved in that participating so you're one of them oh that's good news right so when i first participated there it was all inside and mm-hmm. um you know you had to be on a waiting list to get into that event um it had been going on for quite a few years, but then they expanded it um, after, you know, it got skipped the first year of COVID. But then the next year, they put up a big tent, an event tent outside and had double the vendors. Um, so I participated last year under the tent. And um, this year, they're planning to do the same thing. And they said there are going to be even more vendors this year. Oh, so wow. there will be inside and outside. And of course, the the great thing is that they decorate those trees all over Penthouse, and it's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love to see decorations every year and take pictures, and um, they put a, they put a lot of work into that. So hopefully the weather won't be too cold. <laughs> Maybe just a little nip in the air. That's always nice. <laughs> a little nip, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. <laughs> Uh, and I'm looking at something on my calendar here. Leaks from Moravian Church has a candle tea and bazaar coming up December 3rd. Uh, they haven't been able to have that uh, for a couple of years, uh, but uh, excited to have that back. And uh, that's always a nice uh, event, too. Yeah, those little events, you know, the holiday strolls, the downtown things, mm-hmm. the parades, Santa, the trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always, always nice, too. Oh, yeah. Such a special time of the year. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, well, we've got you down for the penthouse. Yeah, that's going to be nice to have you involved in that. Yeah, so that's my pitch for buy local. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it, it's a win-win for everyone. It certainly is. It is. And, uh, you know, I think what I like about being able to go shop in small towns is that 
you always bump into somebody you know. <laughs> so it's kind of, there's kind of a social plus as well. Yes, that's right. Yeah. See lots of people that you know, and I love to see what other people are doing, you know, what, what their skills are and learn about them. Um, yeah. So, yeah. you know, this, this is a fun time of year for that. <clears throat> and other than that, the only thing that I have going on right now um, is I've been in talks with the town of Mayadan about doing a mural for them in 2023, but we're in the very beginning of that process. Mm -hmm. And okay. I've talked to you about this before, where it can take, you know, six months to, <laughs> to plan or longer to plan I, yeah. um, a mural project. It, it's a very involved thing. So uh, we're in the beginnings of that, and I'm trying not to overschedule my my life in 2023 <laughs> this year has been so busy you have been wide open this year with uh with your mural work and uh and your uh collection as you mentioned a little bit ago that you're working on now and uh i don't i don't know when you sleep but uh thank you for all of the the beautiful things that you uh you create and you share with us mary we all appreciate that yeah and there are a lot of classes going on around too with people want to do some crafts themselves mm -hmm. there are places to go around and look i know reedsville trading post has now uh, an art class feature that they've added a room um just for that sort of thing and different people are doing you know ornament painting uh ceramic christmas trees things like that mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of fun yeah. time if you make something personally yourself and learn yeah you're right. That uh, that workshop there at Regional Trading Post uh, has been busy here lately, too. Yeah, we have so many creative, talented people in Rockingham County. We're really blessed, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So you won't get the Black Friday experience when you're buying from local artisans. <laughs> it's not really what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> no, that's exactly I right. haven't done it in at least 25 years. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's just uh, get to those local uh, businesses and merchants that uh, make it happen, and uh, so involved in our community. Uh, Mary, thank you for this time together. Uh, always good to visit with you. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Have a wonderful Christmas, and uh, we'll yeah. we'll talk to you again soon. Wishing everyone out there in the county a wonderful holiday season and a merry Christmas. Thank you, Mary. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye-bye. That's our Rockingham County artist, Mary Ryan. Uh, we certainly appreciate her talents and the uh, beautiful work that she does. Uh, please, uh, again, go to her Facebook page, A Life of Joy by Mary E.D. Ryan Art. Her personal Facebook page is Mary E.D. Ryan. And, yes, we uh, certainly at Mike Moore Media echo what Mary was saying. Please support our Hometown businesses all over Rockingham County.